Hey Aquarius, welcome back. This is going to be a timeless love reading, so whenever you feel drawn to the title, to the message, that's when you know it's resonating for you. It's not going to always completely resonate for each and every one of you. So at a time where you feel like you need me to bring clarity, um, focus in on just your energy, you can click on the link below in the description box. It'll take you right over to my Etsy shop. Over there, I offer a variety of readings, and then you can check that out and see what goes with what, your resin what you need clarity on. I am giving away three free love readings this month. So if you are new, I do giveaways. I'm grateful that you've found my channel. Um, go ahead and subscribe, and each month I do a giveaway. This month, it will be three free love readings. You just need to subscribe and leave a heart emoji in the comment section of every reading that you view of mine during the month of February. I'll be reaching out to three people that I choose randomly at the end of the month. Um, it will be initially through YouTube, so make sure your notifications are on, and then I'll direct you over to my Etsy shop where it's protected to get your information and send you the reading. All right, for my Aquarians. When it comes to love, Cracker, seven. Positive energy surrounds you. Love, joy, good fortune await. Some of you may be dealing with a fire sign because here's lion. You could even have fire in your chart. Specifically Leo. Harness the loyal and protective aura of the lion and charge ahead magnificently. Finding that courage to leave the past, to close out old chapters, and be ready for a brand new energy. And yes, if you came here with a specific person in mind or a question, the answer is yes. For my Aquarius, thank you. Let me do the bottom, just so I make sure I get through it. Okay, we have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And it's safe for you to love is at the bottom. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. All right, I'm going to do a card of timing. Um, I'm also going to do Scrabble tiles, messages from your person to you. So you could be dealing, you, you could have water in your chart, but I feel you're looking for your, your true love, the person you're meant to be with, um, a solid foundation. You might be thinking about or dealing with someone that has a ch child or children, you may could be a blending of family, could be someone that you were married to or in a higher level of commitment and in separation from. Their energy, air energy. So you could be dealing with a fellow Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Mentally strong. Does not want any breadcrumbing. Has the sword up, ready to protect their heart ready to cut out whatever is not meant, whatever they're not feeling drawn to. They don't want to play games. Past energy. There's that lion energy that was at the bottom of the other deck. Leo energy. Like I said, the strength to close out chapters, the strength and the, the invisible force to move past anything that was not meant for you. Even if you're thinking about someone specific from your past, you're just closing out the energy of what didn't work. But learning the lesson and moving forward. Current energy, manifesting your dreams, Aquarius. This is amazing. Manifesting your dreams. Following your heart. And the overall outcome.
Five of Coins. I feel like you're definitely moving f past any pain. This could be somebody that caused you pain and is traveling towards you. Left you feeling like you're like on the outside looking in, feeling very hurt and alone. They could be at a distance from you. I do have strong air energy here and fire. Air, fire, and we have water. Let's see. Please clarify the Ten of Cups. You could have been dealing with somebody who is very business-like, who is very well off for themselves. They definitely had their career, their finances. They had every all their ducks in a row and they had long-term to offer. They could have worked a lot, you know, more time was spent at work or focused on getting ahead or maybe they were even starting their own business. But I feel like it's a time of self-evaluation on your part and theirs. Please clarify the Queen of Swords, the High Priestess. Yeah, somebody went silent. They're definitely, there's not any talking going on here. But there will be, there will be. There will be a confession. There will be um, truth spoken. A brand, it's like a breakthrough, a brand new start. Please clarify the strength card. Yeah, so you had to find the strength to move on. There was definitely broken trust here. So this could be somebody that lied to you, somebody that was, you know, maybe didn't tell you how they really felt. Maybe they could even lied to themselves about the connection, about how much they felt. There could have been broken promises. But I feel like you had to find the strength to move on. In the past, I'm getting fire energy and... Well, I have Leo and Scorpio here. Present energy. I have Aries, Libra, and Taurus. So like I said, Aquarius, you may have those placements in your chart, but, you know, you may be interested in a Libra, in union with a Libra, but it's the energy of making your dreams come true, of manifesting what you want with this person, of um, having only eyes for each other. Loving so many things about one another. Loving the energy that each brings into the connection. I feel like overcoming anything that was an obstacle. I definitely feel sadness here. Please clarify the overall outcome for my Aquarian spirit. For those this resonates I gotta tell you, I feel like the connection is gonna come in. You definitely have attraction for one another. You have passion for one another. But I feel like you're just gonna walk away from the burdens. You're gonna take the communication. For some of you, you may have already moved on. You may have already moved on. You find yourself engaged or living with someone maybe and this person contacts you. But with the King of Swords energy here, I feel like you, you know, they took their emotions and walked away with the Seven of Swords. They, they seemed emotionally unavailable at one point, but I feel like now it's you that's emotionally unavailable. I feel like your emotions lie somewhere else and you're going to take that communication, you're going to take that confession as like closure. All right, spirit. I feel like the connection, for those of you that are in another connection, is more grounded. 
the Knight of Cups. Four of Coins. Yeah, they held back. High Priestess twice and the King of Swords. Bottom of the deck is the Nine of Swords. Mental Anguish. Silence. Spirit, please clarify the High Priestess twice. Why is the High Priestess here twice? Justice. And for some of you, definitely dealing with a Libra. I just feel somebody lacked wanting to be in a commitment. You know? They love the attraction. They love the attention. They love the passion. But when it came time for, you know, just to be exclusive, to be in a commitment. See that person back there in the bed? It's like things were being hidden, things were being held back. All right, let's see. Spirit, why is yes here for Aquarius? Thank you. Three of Swords. So yes, you're going to move past this trauma. Yes, they're hurting too. Yes, both of you are going to move towards more peace and harmony. It may be separately for some, but you're going to move towards me some more peace and harmony because of the clarity. Why the Three of Swords twice? Saying there's things hidden. The moon and the nine of wands. It's like they held back from you, Aquarius. They didn't tell you everything. I also feel like they're, they're hurting. They're hurting more than you know. But I just feel like it was an, an energy of, with the devil here, of not wanting to be exclusive. Of not wanting to settle down. All right, additional clarity for my Aquarians. For my Aquarian spirit. They could have been married. Look at this. They could have been married. They could have been engaged. This also could be your energy, Aquarius. Like, take it how it resonates. But I definitely feel like there was a third party involved. But like I said... I feel like you've moved more you've moved on to more of a place within yourself of peace, of harmony, some with someone else that's very grounded, very sacred, very secure. Anything? Oh, there's one I missed. Okay, the star. Within two, this is your energy. Within two to four weeks <clears throat> of timing, <clears throat> from the time that you see the video, within two to four weeks of that, during the winter. Now this could be this winter. This could be the win next winter, because it does not have a year here, January twenty second to February twenty first. So within one card, there's a few different timelines. If this just happened yesterday, it's probably not your reading. All right, let's see. Look, new beginning. A sudden increase. Like I said, you may be dealing with someone who's already, like, who has children or you do. And it's like a meshing of a family. But beware, because this Wolverine is coming in very fierce and very unpredictable. For some, I, know, I feel like they know that you moved on and they're not happy about it. 
They're going to come in very chivalrous. They know they've hurt you. But also, like I said, like take the energy as it resonates. All right, let's see. A message from Aquarius's person to Aquarius spirit. It has always been you. You are the best thing that ever happened to me. I feel like they view you as the one that got away. I think about you all the time. Yeah, you are like the one that got away to them. But like I said, for some, I just feel like you're over it. You've, gr you've moved on. You've grown. You're not letting this in anymore. Let's see. We have T, A, L, Y, B, O, U, E, N, as in Nancy or Nick, Natalie, W, S, as in Sam, B, V, for Victoria, R, I, so we have every vowel, G, and then the rest are repeats. All right, so do take what I said, what messages actually came out. But I feel like for those of you that have somebody at a distance from you and they, and they hurt you a great deal, they're coming in. They're coming in to confess. They, they're coming in to make it right. But some of you have definitely moved on. Not just with your, within your own lives, within your own peace, but also some of you have definitely moved on to somebody else. Always let me know how it resonates. Leave that heart emoji if you're interested in the free reading. And if you want me to tune into just your energy, click on the link below in the description box. It'll take you right over to my Etsy shop. Love and light Aquarius.